Welcome everybody and welcome to your breath workshop and this is day one of Anxious to Aligned. So today we're going to be looking at the breath which is also known in yoga as pranayama. So that's just the Sanskrit word for breath meaning the extension of the breath. So prana meaning energy, meaning life force, and a yama meaning to extend, to draw out or to control. So we're not gonna waste any time. Let's get straight into the breath work. So you can do this in a seated, seated position. You can be on the floor with your legs crossed or your legs stretched out, or if it's more comfortable, you can lie down, no problem at all. Whatever position you're in, just make it as comfortable as possible. So maybe grabbing a cushion, placing it underneath the hips. If you're seated on a chair, just check that legs are uncrossed and that both feet can be flat on the floor. And again, just whatever position you're in, we want a little bit of length in the spine. So we're looking at the alignment here. So let's just spend a couple of moments getting the alignment. So thinking about your, your hips here your heart and your head all stacked in one line. So you've got a nice straight spine that you're not tipping forwards or backwards. So we really wanna give the spinal column quite a lot of length here. This is where our nervous system resides. So it's really important that we give it some space. So we're not sitting up to a tension, we're not drawing tension into the muscles, but we're just lengthening. Think about the crown of the head and imagine a piece of string from here, just growing a little bit taller. And as you do this, you might find that the shoulders naturally draw away from the ears. And if they're not, just maybe pick them up. Take a breath up here. And then as you take a big exhale, loop, draw the shoulders down. Think about the shoulder blades working towards each other and down the back. Lovely. Take a nice breath. And now close off the eyes. We're gonna get straight into the breath work, but I'll be talking about the benefits as we go along. But I just want you to check in with your breath wherever you're at now. A really nice way to do that, if it feels okay, is to draw off one of the senses, the sight. So take an internal focus. And then just gently place one hand on your heart space, somewhere on your chest here. Just check that you're not introducing any tension into the shoulder as you do that. And just be, begin to be aware of the breath. So with this breath, we're using a nostril breath, breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. And all we're doing at this moment in time is checking in, becoming present with the breath, giving the breath your attention. Just notice where it is, noticing the journey of the breath. Just take a few like that in silence. And staying with the eyes closed, let's just check in. That breath for me is quite high up in my chest. So I can feel my chest rising up and my inhale and then my hand moving back down and inwards as I exhale. So I'm just chest breathing. And that's really half breathing. We've got our lungs down here inside our ribs and we've got our diaphragm muscle, which is this dome shaped flat muscle that lives underneath the lungs. So if I'm only breathing up in my chest here, I'm ignoring this region and I'm not using it. So I'm only half breathing. And because our body and our mind are connected, we're sending a message straight to the brain to say, we're in a lack mentality. There's not enough breathe, uh, breath, there's not enough air. And we begin to shallow breathe and over breathe. And really the medical term for that is hyperventilating, uh, hyperventilating, um, there we go. Um, so we're over breathing and we're sending a stress signal to the brain. So stay with your breath, just see if you notice that for yourself. So when we breathe like this for a long time, which for many of us will be all the time, every day for years and years, we get into a cyclic, cyclical state of stress. And we're living out of the sympathetic section of our nervous system, that's our fight, flight or freeze. So all we're doing is surviving, okay? So we're not able to relax, we're not able to access the parasympathetic as easily. 
and our body is primed for activity and response. And that can really manifest in, you know, a fast heartbeat. It can manifest in stress, in your mind being really busy and primed. So although the body might be still, the mind's really, really active. You've got adrenaline and cortisol running through the body. And these are necessary things, but yeah, there are two sides to the nervous system. We need to be able to access the rest and de digest system just as easily. And that's what we're going to work on with this next um, breath work, this next pranayama. So this time, lower the hand downwards, just so it's on the belly, sort of over the belly button here. And again, just check the shoulders are relaxed. And now soften the belly muscles completely. So you don't need to be tensing up here. And what we want to start to do is slow the breath down. So it's still in through the nose and out through the nose. And what we want on our inhale is our hand to draw slightly away from us as we breathe in. And as we let the air escape our body and we exhale, that hand draws in towards the spine slightly. So let's move into that together. So still with the eyes closed, still with some nice length in the spine, just checking in with the posture and making an adjustment if you need to. Let's take a slow inhale and send that breath all the way down as low as we can into our belly. And then exhale. Gently allow that belly button to draw towards the spine, towards the back as that air is exhaled out the lungs. And what we're looking for is an equal inhalation as to exhalation. A nice slow breath, a nice full breath. So now that you've taken a few of these full breaths, you might already feel a shift, okay? You might hopefully feel a little bit calmer, perhaps slightly more relaxed. Now we're beginning to signal to the brain that we have enough, that we have all the things that we need to survive. And then this drops us into the parasympathetic nervous system. So you really wanna be in this space as you're getting ready to sleep, as you're getting ready to eat, or any time that you feel a panic attack or a sense of urgency, a sense of dis-ease, discomfort, you can drop into this type of breath. Now for me, I really like to keep my hand on my belly, but if you feel like you've got the hang of that, you can rest the hands down here. So inhaling really fully, soften the belly, let the air in, let the air down. Exhale, really let all that air escape slowly. We're not pushing it out, we're just letting it flow out. Staying here. I'm just going to check in with the tech, just make sure everyone's on mute. So we've got nice, quiet breathing practice. So if this is working for you, we can stay with this breath awareness. But for some of us, we might find that despite doing this practice, the mind is very busy and active still. So I'm just going to invite you to add another layer, maybe try it. If it doesn't work, drop it, just come back to the breathing. So we can add a mantra in. So a mantra, a mantra is just repetitive um, sentences or repetitive words. So I'm going to give you two options here. So staying with that breath, maybe the hands on the belly, maybe it's coming to rest down here. So the mantra is I am calm and all is well. So we can take an inhale and say I am calm and an exhale all is well. Inhale I am calm Exhale, all is well. Inhale, I am calm. Exhale, all is well. And then let me just go into silence and allow you to explore that mantra inside your own mind. 
Keeping the journey of the breath awareness, making sure that the shoulders aren't raising up, that the air is just moving into the belly. Now, if that mantra doesn't resonate for you, we could work with another mantra and it's a really simple one. I am breathing in strength. I am releasing tension with the exhale. I am breathing in strength as you inhale. I am breathing out tension or stress or panic, whatever word resonates with you as you exhale. Or just I am breathing in, I am releasing. I am breathing in, I am releasing. So just go into silence and repeat the mantra in your own mind. And just checking in if that's resonating or helping for you. Let's just take 10 rounds of that breath in silence. Just knowing that you are giving your body extreme nourishment just by breathing in this conscious way. Just focusing all your attention on the breath. And if the mind's still chattery, just using whichever mantra resonates with you. And then just gently let go of that practice now. Just release it. If the hand's on the belly, just release it back to the hand, uh, back to the thigh or down by the sides of the body. Keep your eyes closed off and just do a little inward scan of what's going on now. Can you feel the difference? Can you feel any change? Either in the body or in the mind from when you first joined this workshop. For me, I find it really quick and really powerful, um, especially if I'm experiencing a panic attack or if I'm in um, a situation that triggers me or makes me feel tense, that breathing is fantastic. So hopefully you are able to easily access that tool for whenever you need it. And I would really encourage to do that one before you even step out of bed in the morning. And so it's done, you've set your mindset for the day, you've set a calm um, in control mindset before you've stepped out of bed and before that mental um, chatter starts, you've got control of your mind already. And then let's work with the second type of pranayama, which is known as the golden thread breath, a really, really beautiful one. And this one, you can use it again in all of those scenarios that you're finding highly stressful, highly um, worried, anxious, even if you're feeling low and depressed, use this one. Um, actually, it is used even in um, when ladies are in labour, it's, it's that relaxing, it can actually have a huge shift for you. So for the golden thread breath, again, it's really important with your alignment that you've got a nice upright spine, or if you're lying down, you've got length in your spine and a rela relaxation in the torso, shoulders away from ears. And if I just show you this one before we practice together, so it's an inhale through the nose, and then it's an exhale through very finely parted lips. So we open the lips, just a tiny small gap, just enough to kind of fit a sliver of paper in there. So if I show you from the side slightly, it's an inhale. And an exhale through the lips, very, very slightly parted. And what that does is it lengthens the exhale, it really slows it down. So the exhale is almost twice as long as the inhale. And that is working with a dominance on the parasympathetic nervous system that rest and digest. So that completely calm 
um, side of our nervous system, which most of us aren't dominating or not even moving into in enough times. So let's practice together, finding that lovely length, that alignment, hips, heart, head stacked in one line, shoulders away from ear, bringing back the awareness internally by closing the eyes off. Part in the lips very, very slightly. And let's take an inhale through the nose to prepare. And then an exhale through slightly parted lips. Inhaling when you're ready through the nose. And then exhalation through the mouth, through the lips. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the lips. Keeping it as slow and as long as you can and maybe just finding some enjoyment, some sense of peace here. So let's take a couple more of those, just get into that pattern of breath. Try not to bring any tension into the jaw. This is a lovely practice just to continue as you are, but there is another dimension to this. We can bring in a visualization. So it is the golden breath, the name of the practice. And on that exhale, we just imagine a fine golden thread spinning out on the breath, out forwards into the air and away from you. So let's do that now. Take an inhale through the nose. And begin to exhale through the lips. Now imagine that golden thread escaping through the lips, very fine golden thread, and it's moving forward as you blow it out with your air, all the way out into the room ahead of you, maybe up to the sky. Depending on the quality of the breath, the quality of the exhale depends how far away you can move that golden thread away from you. So it's a really beautiful visualization, very, very gentle. And if you are a visual person, that's really gonna help you to anchor with that breath and work more strongly with it. However, if that really brings in too much noise into the mind, just work in with a feeling of the breath, noticing the feeling that's creating in the mind, in the body. I'm definitely feeling really oxygenated in my mind now, feeling a lot calmer. So examples of using the golden thread breath, it's a, well, it's a really lovely one to use in the evening, at night, before bed. Or if you're feeling a bit of insomnia, so if you're lying in bed, you can hear the ticking of the clock, you can hear the noise in your mind, use the golden thread breath here. <clears throat> so it's really going to relax the body, it's going to send a strong signal to the nervous system, hence the brain, to really drop you into a place of calmness and before you know it hopefully you'll be asleep. Another one to use this is for me in a traffic jam when you're behind the wheel. You can do that exhale, that long exhalation through the parted lips and again you can hear the breath so it's another anchor really to help you get into that meditative mindset. Or again, if you've got maybe um, a little bit of conflict around you and you're tensing up in the body, tensing in the shoulders, use this breath. So obviously with the golden thread breath, there is um, a little bit of movement to it. So it's something that you might want to do in the privacy of your car, your home, your bedroom. But the abdominal breathing you can do anywhere without anyone even knowing you're doing it. So it's like uh, it feels quite powerful for me when I've got those tools rather than kind of um, taking a pill or uh, something that's going to sort of artificially make me feel calm. I know I've got the power and the control to do this one myself. Just taking one more breath with the golden thread. Make it a nice long one, as long as you can, maybe have a play with it, see how far away you can get that thread in front of you. And then just let go of that practice, let it go, let it go, and notice the feelings that you have created in your own body. Observe how you feel. 
and just give yourself the acknowledgement that you have now got the ability to calm yourself at will using this whenever you need it okay so as i said use it in any scenarios that you're feeling triggered but for me the big shift came when i started to do these breath practices first thing in the morning so i used to get up and um, start potting around and then come into that breath as i was putting the kettle on but actually now what i do before i've even opened my eyes in my bed I come into abdominal breathing so it just becomes really instinctive that is the breath that we um, were born with when you observe babies or even your pets animals breathing when they're asleep you'll see their belly naturally rise so that is a natural state for us it's just remembering how to do it so we're just going to let go of that practice maybe opening up the eyes if you haven't already Let's just bring a little bit of movement. Bring the shoulders up towards the ears as you breathe in. Exhale, opening up the chest, shoulder blades drawing down the back. Exhale, fully. Inhale, loop the shoulders up and around. Exhale, breathing out. And hopefully you're feeling maybe a small shift in the body, maybe a big shift. But the accumulative effect of doing that practice as often as you can. So don't beat yourself up if you can't do it every day. If you don't remember, it's no problem. But just when you can remember, it's all about awareness. And then just relax the shoulders back down. So I hope this has been useful for you guys. Give us a comment or a heart if you found that's helped you in any way. If you've got any questions, please feel free to drop them either on Facebook or send us um, a message on email. And um, yeah, I wish you guys a wonderful day and hope that's helped with your anxiety. Namaste. So we'll be back on here at 11 o'clock tomorrow. This um, session has been recorded, so feel free to access it. It'll be available for seven days. And also give us a shout if, um, if you've got any questions and I'll answer them for you. Thank you.